Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Listen, I want to talk to you about what's going on in this thing right here. And what's going on up in here? <clears throat> your noodle and your ticker. Now, when God comes into our hearts, okay, we accept the Lord Jesus Christ into our hearts as Lord and Savior. What happens is there begins a new nature. It's like the old you, as the Bible would say, has passed away. And behold, all things are become new. That's a little portion, a little snippet of the quotation. But what I want to say to you is one of the main indications, if you wonder if you are truly a child of God, check how much you love people. If you don't have much love for people, trust me, baby, you better go back to the manufacturer and get an adjustment. <clears throat> because God will not have you in his kingdom hating his people. It's just not going to work. This is not the way God orchestrates things. <clears throat> the biggest demand he places on us is to love God with all our strength, power, mind, might, everything. And to love one another as we love ourselves. You hear me? All the prophets in the foundation of this walk of faith is based on one thing. <clears throat> love. Now, if you're looking at your brother talking about, oh, I hate his guts. I wish he'd go on to hell somewhere. He'd get out of my face because he get in my face one more time. I'm going to get him told. Or you see somebody, oh, girl, look at that chick. She thinks she's so fine. Boy, I should walk up and slap that smirk right off her face. I hate her. She's so uppity and so perfect and so prissy. Mm -hmm. That is not perfect love. And you and I both know it. Yeah. So you got to watch how you treat one another, how you feel towards one another. Take your temperature. You look at everybody you know and tell me if they put a knot in your stomach and a lump in your throat. If you feel anger when you look at some of them, that means you have a forgiveness issue. That is not perfect love. Perfect love forgives, baby. Oh, yeah. Whether they apologize or not. They might be dead in the grave, dead and gone, being gone. Guess what? You must still forgive. You know, <clears throat> forgiveness is not for them. I don't know if you get that. Forgiveness is not for them. It's for you. It's God's gift to you to maintain the peace he shed in your heart. You hear me? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, almost went back in the hospital on Monday and Tuesday, but I hung in there and fought this thing with God, and I'm feeling a lot better. Anyway, so I just want to say, be very careful about your attitudes. Be careful about your feelings when you see people, what you think. Your thinking pattern, if you pay attention to what you're thinking, will tell you where you are in the love scale. Weigh yourself. See how much love you have in you. Because if you come up real low on the scale, well, I'm speaking figuratively now. Okay, don't go get on a scale. No, what I'm saying is, for those of you who have love issues, emotional issues, anger issues, resentment issues, uh, rage issues, spite issues, tongue issues, 
cussing issue, whatever the case may be. Check that with God and he will bring things to your mind that will show you where and how you are lacking in the love of God. God bless you.